So joining me today on my journey into the world of baking is Chef MJ and Brittany. So Chef, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to make a ciabatta bread. Now this is a great, really flavorful bread. It has really nice big holes for texture. So we have our poolish. This is our starter that sat for about 24 hours and we're going to put it into the mixing bowl. So Brittany can go ahead and scrape it in there. You'll see it's fairly sticky and it actually smells quite sour. So this is where most of the flavor is coming from for this bread recipe. Ciabatta bread itself, uh, the word means slipper. So oh. when you kind of pour it out onto the pan, it's to look like kind of a beat up old slipper. Oh, nice. So we have our yeast mixed in with our water and we'll start to blend it just on low speed. Just low speed. Yes, that okay. can be detrimental. Because you want things to happen fast, but yes, that could be disastrous. <laughs> I started with my grandmother baking. I guess that would be where I really started. And then I really enjoyed cooking and baking, so I started in the kitchen. Uh, when I was about 15 and I worked and I used to make the bread for the restaurant that I worked at. We're mixing it to develop gluten, okay. which is what gives us the chewiness in the bread. So we would allow this dough to ferment for about an hour and after it's fermented it'll look something like this. So you can see how it's become a lot more oh, wow. pliable and stretchy. So now this is ready to shape into our beat up slippers. Okay, I'll just do it with a little flare. Because it's such a soft dough, we actually take it and let it slide out and then just cut it off. Okay. So we're gonna take it like so and then just cut the piece off. I think some of the most important skills for being a baker are someone who can multitask. It's really important that you can manage to do more than one thing at once. Perfect. <laughs> well, perfect might be generous. <laughs> it doesn't want to go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> because when you're making something like bread, for an example, when it's rising for an hour or two, you need to be able to be accomplishing something else in that same amount of time. Um, it's really important that you're able to follow a method. So as much as we like to be creative in cooking, you can be a bit more, um, a bit more free than in baking. It is a science. Am I maybe making it too thick? Or? No, that looks good. And then you're going to finish them off by dusting them with a bit of flour. Now these are ready to proof, so we would let them rise um, at room temperature for about an hour before we bake them in the oven. And I do have a, some in the oven that have been baking, so I'll go pull them out. It's really important that you're an active person to enjoy this as a career. Um, myself, I tried a desk job and I used to fall asleep and I knew that wasn't right for me. So I think if you're someone who's active and you want something new going on every day, then baking is a great idea for you. I'm just going to cut it like this at an angle. <laughs> I'm so worried that I can't cut into it. This shouldn't be taking this long. It's still really hot. Okay. Great. Now, what did you do? You did this. Perfect. See, you can still see that. Oh man, that looks good. Perfect. Well, that was my look at baking. Thank you very much for this, you guys. It was really fun.